My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to be discussing ways of using, controlling, and modifying the connectors in a Visio diagram. So when you decide to put connectors into a Visio diagram, which are just those lines that draw from one shape to a next, you can do this in a number of different ways. Let's start off in a flowchart, for example. If I grab the process here out of the stencil and I drag that onto the page, you'll notice that in hovering on top of the shape that I just dropped, that it recommends that I could connect another shape to it going down, left, or right. And so let's say, for example, I decide to go down and make a new uh, decision point right here. When I go in and click on that decision point, it instantly creates the connector that goes between those two shapes. And when I click and drag that decision around, I can see that the connection between the initial shape of the process and the decision remains sound, and also that the connector goes out of whatever part of the process it needs to and into whatever part of the decision it needs to, to most effectively and simply connect these two shapes together. So if the process is, excuse me, if the process is above the decision, then the line that connects the two comes out of the bottom of the process and goes into the top of the decision. If it's over on the left, well, then it comes out of the left side and goes into the right side of the decision. And if the decision's over on the right, it comes out of the right side of the process and goes into the left side of the decision. Now, if I contrast that, let me go ahead and uh, clear out that connector. If I delete this connector and go to the top of my screen, I can grab the connector tool from the home tab. I can then put my mouse either on top of the full rectangle of that process, getting me a green box around the whole rectangle, or I can put it around just a point at the bottom of the rectangle. This is what's called the connection point from the bottom of this rectangle. And by hovering on top of just the connection point, what I'm creating is what's called static glue. I'm gluing my connection just to this one point and not to the rest of the shape. So now I will hover on top of that point, click and drag down, and as you can see again, you can have a point at the tip of the uh, decision, or you can hover on top of the full decision and get a rectangle around the entire shape. Again, I will choose the glue to that connection point, meaning static glue, and now watch as I move this around. I grab my pointer tool and I click and drag this over. By using what's called static glue or gluing to connection points rather than shapes, it always connects to the same point on the process and the same point on the decision no matter where I drag it around. Again, instead, if I were to remove this connector, go grab my connector tool and simply put my mouse on top of the full shape, getting a rectangle around the whole shape, then clicking down and getting the green rectangle around the whole shape again, I now have the glue connected to the two shapes. It's what's called dynamic glue, and it's able to adjust accordingly. Now, while you're building this, especially while you're trying to uh, put in these connectors and things like that, you're going to want to be in control of what they call the glue and snap settings. And you can see these controls by going to the View tab at the top of the screen, and you'll see these visual aids. Basically, visual aids in Visio are the things that help you to put things in the right locations, connect them together, etc. Notice here that um, we're auto-connecting uh, those shapes together, and the connection points are available, meaning that it's easy to see where the connection points are, and you can move them around or glue directly to them. By clicking the little pop-out button in the bottom right-hand corner of my visual aids, you can see here that I can turn on and off the snap and the glue. Snap being the thing that most easily uh, brings me to the right spot and makes sure that I don't slide off of it too easily. And glue, of course, being the glue that connects different shapes together. Notice here that we can glue things both to guides and to connection points, as you see here. 
and that snap is currently turned on for connection points and also to the actual geometry of the shape itself. So as we move around the screen, we're able to easily see where the shapes are and also where the connection points are, and we snap to those quickly and easily. On the Advanced tab, you can also turn the snap strength up and down. And so, for example, if you want to make sure that you're always snapping directly to those points really easily, um, you can turn that snap up or down accordingly. So I click OK here, and that allows me to more easily, notice here the snapping into the shape geometry. If I hover in a place with a shape, it says, well, here are some dynamic guides for you, and here's a snap that helps you to figure out where that thing needs to be located on the page. And this is the snap strength, how easy it is to pop it into place and how easy it is to pop it out of place is the strength of that snap feature. The last way to create a connection between different shapes is to do it within the context of your org chart. So if I go to the File tab in the top left-hand corner, trace down the New, and I grab, let's say, the org chart uh, template right here, that allows me to build a new organization chart. And within this context, all you have to do is drag the executive onto the page into a spot. And then if you want a manager to report to your executive, simply click and drag a manager on top of the executive. And the spacing and the connector all are taken care of automatically by dragging the person who reports to that manager right on top of them. And if somebody reports to the manager again, drop it on top, and it lays it out and creates connections appropriately. So that's how to manage your connection points and connectors within a Visio diagram, whether you're talking about something like a flow chart, something like an org chart, or really any generic diagram that uses connectors. Thank <music> you.